So, no donkey noises. All right. Um, in this example, ladies and gentlemen, now we're going to look at what we have as a, what we would call is a, um, a discontinuity, a jump discontinuity. If you guys remember, oh yeah, jump discontinuities. We did those at the way beginning of the year, right? But again, so just remember though, when we're talking about a jump discontinuity, um, the uh, it's going to be just it's going to we have a discontinuity, but again, the limit is really kind of separate from that. Limit is just as what we're approaching. So let's kind of knock out one of the behavior once again. The limit as x approaches negative infinity. So just look at the graph. Kind of pick a point. As our x values are going towards negative infinity, right? As we're going towards the left. So as our x values are going to the left, our h of x value is going towards negative infinity. Right? Isn't that behavior with limits? It's just that notation now. Yes. Yes. Yeah. You're going here, then you jump, and then you go down. Okay? The next one is h of 1, and we talked about this when we did piecewise functions. So if you guys are looking at h of 1, what we see here is um, you go over to 1, and at 1, where there's no value here, that's an open dot, right? That's open, whole. But we could go up to here, and that point is, it is value, right? So that value is 4. So that's the value of the function, which would be at 4. So now let's talk about limits, okay? So when we're talking about limits here, again, now we're going to be approaching one from the right. Now, please pay very, very close attention and watch me as I do this. So as our x values, again, x values, are getting closer and closer to one from the right, right hand. So from the right, we're getting closer and closer to when x equals 1. You guys agree? Right there is x when x equals 1, right? As we get closer and closer to x equals 1, what value does h of x equal? 2. Okay? Now let's do it from the left. So, from the left hand, as we get closer and closer to 1, what value we're getting closer and closer to is? 4. Four. All right. Now, actually, I want to tell you guys a story. Yes. Isn't the one where it says 2 is not a whole? Because it's an open software? Yeah. So why should I go 2? You go 2. Right. I'm not asking what is the value. That's saying what is the value. Yeah. I'm saying what are you approaching. Oh, okay. Okay? okay. So again, that's, a, that's the important distinction. We're not asking for the value. We're just saying what is it approaching. What is it getting very, very close to? So if you said on the one where we wrote 4, what is h of 1, that one would be if it was, that's when you write, that does not exist. If it was what? That's where you would write, it does not exist if you were looking at just that one side. Well, let me tell you my story. So this one is actually dedicated to Griffin here. So Griffin was asking me, he said, Mr. McLogan, I'm kind of a little concerned about the OC. He's like, I'd like to meet, meet you and kind of do some study. So I was like, all right, great. He's like, I'll even buy you a coffee from McDonald's. I said, hey, 99 cents. All right, I'll take it. Right? So I said, where would you like to meet? And he says, oh, let's go ahead and meet at the McDonald's in Manor. So I said, perfect. I figure we're at Manor High School. I'm going to go go to the one right on Old St. Augustine Road, right? Right next to Taco Bell in the public. So you guys know what I'm talking about? Right? Yeah. So I go and drive over there. And I get there, and I notice that it has been burnt down. So even though I went there, it's no longer existent. Okay? Well, then I'm looking in the parking lot, and I'm like, where the heck is Griffin? So I give him a call, and I notice Griffin actually lives off of San Jose Boulevard. He went to the McDonald's at the end of Loretto in San Jose. You guys know that one, too, right next to also another Taco Bell, right? So he was over that one. So think about it. Here's me. I drive to McDonald's on Old St. Augustine. It burns down. It's no longer existent, right? It's a hole. Griffin goes to this on San Jose. Now, we're both at technically a McDonald's, right, even though mine burned down, right? But we're both at a McDonald's. However, did we meet? No, because we both, even though we went to McDonald's, we went to two different McDonald's in two different locations, right? So, when your general limit, again, if you guys remember in that last example, when you are approaching the same value, but you end up at different spots, therefore the general limit does not exist. So the general limit only exists when you approach the same value from the left and from the right. 
Make sense? Kind of. No, that was. Uh, <laughs> Did you ever